the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 55 of your daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today are these Nintendo Kirby playing cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we've got. Here we have the Kirby Nintendo playing cards here. And this is what they look like. There's not really a tuck box here. It just came in this, like, soft protector case. So, we'll take this out. This is how this was shipped to me. This is how I received them in the mail. In this soft protector case. And we'll take it out of this little protector. Which has a little bit of something there. Like Japanese or something. And then here, here's your, like, your, I guess, your kind of tuck case. You've got, like, a acrylic hard case here and on the back it's kind of upside down it says then if you can see that if it will focus if it wants to focus at all you can kind of see the nintendo lo you can see the nintendo logo engraved there on the plastic here and it is embossed you can feel the logo there and then there's a japanese barcode here and then there's nothing else you can just see the back design and one of the jokers there through the acrylic case. So we'll take this, so we'll just open this up, take it out of the case. Here. And here's one look. You can kind of see the Nintendo logo there. A little bit better, maybe. It's a little scratched up on the case. But here's the card here. First, we'll I guess we'll show you off the back design of the cards. It is a mirrored back design. So if I take this, it is a mirrored back design. So you can flip it around, and it's the same on both sides. And there's like a blue back design here. With yeah, you know, there's a blue back design with a white border. Then you got Kirby here on both sides in a mirrored form. Then you've got a little blue background here with some stars, and you got a border with some stars in the corner, and you got a bunch of colored stars going all around the border. And then this is one of the jokers, like a loose joker here. Yeah. It says Joker Joker in the corner, and then you got like a bronze, this brown Kirby statue there, with a little gold nameplate thing there. And you got a gold nameplate that says Kirby there. And then the other item that came with it, like loose, is you've got this like green piece of paper here. That's all in Japanese. <clears throat> yeah, this is all in Japanese. Yeah, Japanese here. Except, I was looking at it earlier, and except the only thing that is not in Japanese is the J Made in Japan logo words here, and the Nintendo logo in this corner. And there's one up here, and there might be, nope, there's not one on this side. But what this is, I think it might be some kind of like card instructions, because it shows a bunch of the cards here. It might be instructions for some card games, but I have no idea, because I cannot read Japanese. And here's the cards here. They're wrapped in some kind of plastic cellophane here. So we'll... Uh, Rip that open for the first time. And these are 100% plastic playing cards here. They're plastic. We've already seen the back design here. That mirrored back design. And we've seen one of the jokers that was loose. For some reason. And then we got one joker here that says Joker Joker. Then you got like a rock, like a, a brown rock with a black outline, and then like a little face there. And then you got the Ace of Clubs here. We're starting with the Ace of Clubs. And it has Kirby here, the standard Kirby, like running around with a smiley face. And then you got the Two of Clubs here. And then you got like one of the Kirby enemies. I have no idea what the name is, but you got the little Kirby enemy there. And you got three clubs with a little rock with a headband there. And you got the four clubs with a 
one of the snowmans that Kirby can turn into. And you got the five of clubs here with the little bomber man kind of character, the bomb enemy. And you got the six of clubs here with a little bird. Seven of clubs has like a little cat in the bag. Little enemy here, another little enemy. Eight of clubs has the fire enemy. Nine of clubs has a little singing microphone enemy. The ten of clubs has like a little magic enemy. And then we get to the jack, queen, and king of clubs here. On the jack of clubs here, you got Meta Knight. And that's kind of like a mirror design there. You got the little Meta Knight like bandana kind of thing. Or a little line going through the middle there. And then on the queen of clubs, you got Waddle Dee there with his umbrella. And the same little like design effect there with his face going through the ribbon. Going through the middle there. And then the, you got that blue and white striped border with the stars. And for the king of clubs, you got King DDD with his hammer there. And that same ribbon there. And then you got the ace of hearts, which is a older style Kirby there. Because you got this Kirby here. And you got that Kirby and they're different. So it's like an older style of Kirby there. And then you got a little yellow bird for the ace, the two of hearts. And the three of hearts has some more little things. I won't name them all off because I don't know what they all are. But these are like the older style Kirby. Things from the older style Kirby game, I'm guessing. I haven't really played the older Kirby game. And we got the ten of hearts here. And then we got the jack, queen, and king. And these are definitely older styles. We got Meta Knight here on the Jack of Hearts here. We got Waddle Dee on the Queen of Hearts. And then we got King DDD on the King of Hearts here. I can name those. And then we got Kirby here. And this is from one of the newer Kirby's. Because he's in his new new style. In the newer style. On the Ace of Diamonds here. One of the newer Kirby's, anyways. I mean, you got another Kirby enemy there on the two of diamonds. And you got three of diamonds there with another enemy there. The four of diamonds. Then you got the five of diamonds here, spiky guy in the middle. And you got the six of heart diamonds here with that one eyed enemy. And you got the seven of diamonds there with the little enemy there. The eight of diamonds, nine of diamonds with the little fish and goggles, the ten of diamonds, just got a little cannon. And then we get to the jack, queen, and king of diamonds here. And then you got Meta Knight here. Yeah, more like high high definition version of Meta Knight. And you got Waddle Dee there on the queen of diamonds with his headband and the spear. And then you got King DDD with his hammer and the same ribbon there. And then you got the Ace of Spades here, the custom Ace of Spades here. You got that spade there in the background with a gray gradient. And that like diamond pattern with the stars in the middle. And you got Kirby there jumping out of it. And that says HAL Laboratories Inc. Nintendo there at the bottom. And then you got the two of spades here with the yo-yo guy. Then you got the three of spades here with the sword enemy. Then you got the four of spades here with like a throwing star kind of or throwing enemy there. Then you got the five of spades here with like a jetpack man enemy. Then you got the boomerang man enemy on the six of spades. And you got some kind of little skull enemy there with an axe on the seven of spades. And you got the eight of spades here with like a trident enemy. And you got a fire like spear enemy on the nine of spades. And the t then the ten of spades here has a enemy with a spiky ball and a chain. 
And lastly, you got the Jack, Queen, and King of Spades here. And you got Meta Knight here on the Jack of Spades. With that same ribbon there in the middle. And the same white and blue borders. And you got Waddle Dee here with a little sailor's hat. The same border and the ribbon. And then you got King DDD on the King of Spades here. With his hammer there. One last little look at the back design here. Well, now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. When the, I mentioned earlier that these are 100% like they're plastic playing cards here. So they will definitely handle differently. But first, we'll spring the cards. And these definitely, you don't have to put any effort in the spring these. These spring, like, they bend so easily. And they're like, they're more of a bridge size deck of cards. Like, the size of them are bridge size. More, uh, more of a bridge size. You can spring these, but they bend so easily that they're just going to fly everywhere. Like they just did. So I'll be right. <laughs> okay, now I'm back from picking these up. We'll get back to the, the handling. But one thing before we continue with that. I have yesterday's deck still here beside me. So we're going to compare the sizes. Like I said, this is a bird size. These ones are bird sizes. And this is a regular standard size playing card. And if you put it up to the side of it, you can see. And they're slightly like. Not as wide as the regular playing card, like the, these rare bits here are wider than the Kirby ones. So standard size and the bridge size. So we'll try to spring it one more time. But it, it's harder, to, it's weirder to spring a bridge size. And since these are so flexible, that it's hard to spring them. You can kind of spring them, but they just like to bounce everywhere. Now we'll try to fan the cards. You can kind of fan them here, but I don't really like to be fanned. There's definitely no evenly spread, and they clump and stick together. Maybe if you were to use them a lot, then they might want to like work evenly but there's no now they just like the clump maybe if you try to do some kind of like pressure fan maybe you could try to like do it but there's no like now they just like the clump up now we'll try to fail the cards Oh, you can fail. You can, they did Pharaoh. Now I'll try a giant fan. Here's my attempt at a giant fan of the back design. Now we'll try to do a reverse Pharaoh. And they fail just the same as the other way. So we'll attempt a giant fan of all the faces. There's my attempt at a giant fan of all the faces. Kind of works, but not too easily. Now we'll attempt the riffle shuffle or bridge shuffle. You can definitely bridge shuffle them and riffle shuffle them. Except for these cards are really thin, so they like want to bend a lot. You can easily bend these like, like insane. These are so thin compared to a regular like bicycle stock deck of cards. These are like 
almost two times thinner than one of those. Now on to some packet cuts. If I can even do that with a grid size, it might be a little bit tougher because they're like skinnier cards, not as wide. But it's still kind of working there. Now for the one-handed cut. Well, if the cards don't get stuck, you, the, the one-handed cut does work. It's a little odd with the bridge size, but you can still get it to work. And these cards are still slippery, even though they're plastic and they stick together a little bit. Now for the dribble. Now we'll try that spread fan that I can kind of do. And it kind of works with these. It still spreads at least, just not evenly. Yeah, definitely not evenly at all. These do not want to spread at all. They just like to stick together and clump. Well, now we'll try to spread the cards here, see if they spread out. Oh, they definitely like to spread out on a mat, on my mat here. Well, overall, I gotta say these cards look fantastic. They don't really handle too good for like doing like card destroy or magic or anything like that. But they're mostly just a collector's deck, deck here. And I have these because Kirby is my favorite Nintendo character. So well, that's why I have these, just to collect them, not really use them, because you're not buying these to use them, you're buying them just to collect them and have them. Yeah, like I said, they, they look nice, but they don't handle the greatest, so you're just here to collect them. Well, anyways. There's not really any tuck box. There's not really any tuck box to show off. But I'll just put the little card game instructions inside the acrylic case. And I'll just have one of these in my hand. Well, this has been day 55 of your daily deck review. This has been my Nintendo Kirby playing cards. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.